My first pair of real minimalist shoes were the Vivo Barefoot Motus. I got these, I think, uh, just over a year ago. And uh, one of the issues that I kind of ran into uh, was first, I think I got myself a size too small. Normally I would wear a size 10, but I figured, you know what, let me just not put the insoles in and it was just fine. But over time I found that there was a problem. And the problem was that I was actually wearing out not only the outside of the sole a lot more aggressively, but also the inside of the sole. And so after some time, uh, I found that my feet would get wet, especially if there's a little, little bit of water outside. So I stopped wearing my Vivo Barefoot shoes and I actually ended up resorting back to some of my old boots and uh, started wearing my five finger shoes more often. As a gift, my wife bought me a pair of Primus Light. So before I got the shoes, my wife had asked me what size shoes I wear. And so she wanted to get me a pair of shoes. So at the end of the day, she bought me the Primus Light and recognizing that I had gotten a size down. So I decided, you know what, let me just go ahead and request her to get me a size 11 instead of a 10. Now, one of the things that I was definitely looking for was a pair of shoes that look inconspicuous because the five finger shoes by themselves, it is fashionably unacceptable for you to be wearing five finger shoes with a pair of slacks. Whereas the Motus and a pair of black shoes in general, even if they're not dress shoes, they look okay with a pair of slacks. And thus, I wanted something that could go well with that. And right off the bat, one of the expectations is that when you start wearing minimal shoes, the musculature in your foot grows. For in my case, I wore size 10 and then now 11. And so, and the, the musculature is actually in the width of my feet, not the length. I stepped up a size and these seem to fit really well. Putting these on, I think they look pretty darn good, especially with a pair of slacks because they're black. They don't, and if somebody even looks down, yeah, they'll notice it's a little bit more of an athletic uh, design, but it's still uh, low key. And that's one of the things that you're getting the benefit of a minimalist shoe in the sense that it's zero drop, you're close to the ground, you're, it has a wide toe box, so it allows your foot to expand, use all the muscles in your feet, and thus allowing you to, you know, get more function out of your legs. And at the same time, it's inconspicuous. Realizing one of the issues that I ran into with this old pair of Modus, right? Outside of the fact that I totally wore down the uh, the bottom, uh, down to, you know, through the sole. One of the issues was I decided not to put an insole into the shoe, the insoles that it came with. And it's hard for me to show, but so that right there, you'll see is uh, the whiteness you see. I've actually worn through the bottom of the shoe a little bit over there. So now that's the downside of not putting the insoles into the shoe. So that's one of the first things I decided, you know what, for this time around to make the shoes last a little bit longer, I'm gonna include the insole in the shoe itself. Uh, and the fact that I'm also stepping up a size from a size 10 here to a size 11, um, there shouldn't be any issue because, and there isn't. In fact, I tried after I tried these shoes on, uh, they are definitely good to go. Again, one of the things I really like about these shoes is they're pure black, right? Uh, there's black and there's gray. Being able to wear wide toe shoes uh, in terms of, you know, being able to wiggle your feet. And at the end of the day, you know what? You are not hurting your feet. Coupled with the fact that I'm able to wear it with slacks. At least the way I see it, you would have to look twice to recognize that I'm not, I'm wearing a, uh, I'm wearing a sneaker. That's the thing I had liked about this shoe is the fact that it went well with, uh, uh, with slacks and with active wear. Uh, that's the same case here. Now, personally, whom would I recommend this shoe for? Now, this is, keep in mind, this is a minimalist shoe, which means it's an advanced shoe. If you have never worn a minimalist shoe before, then I would highly recommend work your way into it, work up to it. One of the advices that Dr. Kelly Starrett over at Mobility Wad, uh, he's a physical therapist, and one of the things that he advises is start by taking the insoles out of your current sneaker or your current shoe that would allow for your foot to expand. And so when you do that, uh, you'll find that your foot will start getting used to it. At the same time, when you go to the gym, try walking on the treadmill for 200 meters or 400 meters or 800 meters at a time so you get used to that so your foot builds up to it. 
don't run, walk. And at the same time, I would say wear your minimalist shoe maybe once or twice uh, a week. Don't go running in it. Get used to it. Start walking. Do some basic workouts and things like that. You will see over time, over the course of, say, 90 days, you will see that your foot will get stronger. Work on strengthening those toes. Work on strengthening that arch. Work on strengthening that ankle and all the muscles around your shin. That will allow you to regain functionality and the range of motion and mobility of your foot, ankle, and toes. And thus, you would able to take more advantage of these minimalist shoes. The idea is to give freedom to your feet, but at the same time, when you go out to look fashionable, in a sense.